Hello guys and welcome back to another You Don't Know Saturdays and for this installment we are going to go to the ride. Miguel. I take a tax on it over uh, stick in the eye any day. Come on. Ew. Bonjour, bienvenue au tour. Welcome to the ride. Today, all of France celebrates their revolution and the storming of the Bastille. Feel free to make use of any leftover fireworks you may still have from the 4th of July. Meanwhile, how many of you are there? Yeah, 4th of July is oh, well, recently let passed. Me be the first to congratulate you on winning this game. Is this the first time on the ride? Great to have you back. I was afraid we scared you off last time. You should be typing in your name now. Oh, here we go again. A D I O U. Poor thing. Didn't your parents give you any consonants when you were born? Too bad. As you know, your buzzer is the key. That's with about the, the worst part of the game is that sometimes it limits you. All right, Master Cookie is waiting for you in the Dungeon of Love. Now straighten your dog collar the and dungeon get ready of love. to whimper. Okay. <laughs> what floor is this? I have no idea. <laughs> it's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by s and Cruise Lines. Remember, with s and Cruise Lines, you're leather bound. And now, here's the host, delicious as his name, Cookie. Welcome to the dungeon. I'm Master Cookie. But if your fantasy is about taxes, you can think of me as an auditor in a rubber suit. <laughs> Okay, let's get you saddled up and ready to ride. Okay, finish your floor, apparently. Okay, hit your buzzer and try to snap oh. the highest value you can. This one's called... So I have a rubber sheet fetish. Ready, slaves? Master Cookie has a question for you. If you're playing Twister at an S&M party and someone calls out, Left hand! Red. Which of the following will most likely happen? Someone will scream, Faster! Faster! Everyone will stop what they're doing, everyone will climax at once, or someone will put a whip in your left hand. In s and play, certain safe words are used, and red, spelled R-E-D, is often used as a request to stop the action. Me? I'd much rather go to the coprophilia party down the street. I hear they're playing Kerplunk. <laughs> All right, it's time to choose the value of the question. Let's do it. Okay, give it up for... 1,666. I'll take a foot long with extra fetish. Let's get going. If you have a major foot fetish, which of these measurements will give you the most satisfaction? A knot, a nautical mile, a league, or a cubit? I'll bet it can get expensive covering that much ground with black leather. A league is about three miles long, so you get more feet than any of the other measures of distance. Mm, feet. Okay, buzz in and lock on to the highest value you can. Coming up. I'm not a fetishist, I just look like one. You ready? Let's go. If you're into blouses, shakos, and piping, what turns you on? Animal fur, strapless shoes, uniforms, or nail polish? <laughs> Feels good, don't it? Yep. So what is it about uniforms that supposedly drive people crazy? I mean, does the thought of getting a speeding ticket or being forced to do 100 push-ups really turn people on? Okay, select the value of the question. It's roadkill time! Oh, that's a bad amount for roadkill. Okay, gotta do good. Buzz in when you see the item that correctly pairs up the two items on the screen. And don't forget, figure out the final bonus question, and I'll give you some extra cash. All right, let's hit the road, Jack. Here we go. Baseball great Daryl, and type of blonde hair. What's the common link between these two? Like, 
Okay. Strawberry. Okay, strawberry. Ah, oh, shit, I missed it. There we go. We got strawberry, we got apple. What's next? Swing for virginity and singer Nina. There we go. Strawberry apple chair. Are these gonna be types of healthy Beautiful foods? Person and blankets and herb. Body. <laughs> yeah, these are types of fruits. I uh, think you know types of all types of fruits. Types of fruits. And blank blank. These are all types of fruits. Blank nut cereal and Steinbeck's blanks of wrath. Chocolate. Great. I, I missed it. Show blanks blitz and blank republic. Banana. Nope. Yeah. Banana. There it is. Okay, set the fruit. I already know this. One. Okay, it's bonus time. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all about to nine and a half weeks? Oh, four stars. Thanks to my grandmother's cellar. Pro athlete names. Come on, where is it? Same fruit. There it is. Count it. Things that have been a nine and a half weeks. <laughs> Don't wipe that applesauce off your keyboard. That's what your current score looks like. Let's keep going. Hit your buzzer to choose the value of the next question. Well, I've seen better, ah, and I've seen worse, and I've seen France. Well, here's your category. A flying you-know-what. And right this way, please. And the skydiver yells, Gerontophilia! As he jumps from a plane, what is he probably thinking about as he plummets towards Earth? Having sex with circus performers, having sex with elderly people, yeah, having sex with Native Americans, or having sex with birds? I might just flip the time around on this song because I have no idea. Nah, you should have licked, um, picked this one. <laughs> Gerontophiliacs like to have sex with the aged, but I hear it gets old after a while. <laughs> now select the highest value and see if you hit the jack. Oi, that sucked. Oh, Here's I, your got, category. I got two jobs in a row there. That's not good. Isn't everything like sex? Well, whatever your fetish is, just practice safe sex, okay, folks? Now, take a look at this analogy and then finish it. Condom is to wallet as linen is to latex, glory hole is to male member, prophylactic is to STD, or trousseau is to hole is the male member. <laughs> <laughs> Still using those rubber sheets, huh? Okay, kneel down before me. Just as guys will store condoms in their wallets for a special oh, okay. day, women will store their trousseau or linens and things in a hope chest for their marriage. I don't know which is sadder, a spinster with a dusty hope chest or a middle-aged bachelor with a permanent <laughs> ring in his wallet. Alright, let's keep going. Hey, buzz into selective value. Yeah, let's not get it this time. Your category is... Yo, Rocco, where's my bra? Hey, you like seeing men dressing in drag? Because, you know, that's really a man. But, you see, he's wearing women's clothing. You with me? Oh, yeah. Where would you expect to see men dressing in dragoon? In the halls of Congress, on the high seas, on the battlefield, or in dragoon? Right. Um... I see. Love that stuff when I was a kid. And you're wrong. <laughs> You've been very, very bad. Do you remember your safe word? Dragoons are heavily armed, horse-mounted troops. Dear Wong Fu, the battle is hard. I think of you every night as I lie awake in my bunker. Yours forever, Julie Newmar. All right, bang your buzzer and grab... Sandwich Kleptomamapus. 
What? Let me guess. This is a gibber. Okay, yeah. yeah. That that makes Gibber's sense. Gibber's question time. Let's take a look at your real gibberish category. Booze. It's what keeps you going. Keep in mind, the sooner you hit your buzzer, the more cash you can pick up. All right, then. Tell me what common phrase this rhymes with. If D stashes fifth, the vet do lull. And never mind the comma. And never mind the comma, yeah. Ignore punctuation. First clue, it's a mild chastisement. Billy, don't be a dumbass. It's a mild chastisement in which you threaten to lash someone. Last clue, you threaten to use moist pasta. Uh, yeah, Come I'm on, use your noodle. One. Silly, you should have known this. Looks like you get if these stashes fit the vet duo. Ow! Hey, that linguine says way in the cup. I have never heard of that. I have never heard of that. I would not have gotten that right, Cookie. Cookie. You lied. lied. Here's your category. You lied, Cookie. My fat foreigner fetish. I have... Okay, you ready for this question? Thirty-nine ninety-seven is on the table. Here it is. If you're into overweight Polish men, which of these would be a turn-on? This guy? This guy? This guy? Or this guy? Okay, I believe the fourth is a Japanese guy. I have no idea, so I'm just gonna let the time run on this one. Alright, let's take a look at the right answer. Mmm, <laughs> seriously the fourth one? Wow. Alright, buzz. See, I thought he was Japanese. I like to call this category. If the shoe fits, smell it. So you wanna see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. If you've got a shoe fetish, with what kind of comic strip character are you obsessed? A bird, a dog, a cat, or a mouse? Eek! A mouse! <laughs> oh, look what I have here. The correct answer. All of the characters in shoe are birds. And in case you've got a bird fetish, here's one for you. No idea okay, what she so even is. Tell you the questions, thank you. We're calling this one. Whip me, beat me, spread me on toast. And now the question. If you're into beating eggs, what can you not make? Aspic, meringue, a souffle, or a crepe? If I'm into beating eggs. So I'm just wondering, who came first, you or the egg? Ass pick is a gelatin made from animal broth, and if you need to do an ass pick, just warn me first so I can avert my eyes. Hit your buzzer to choose the value of the next question. Coming up. It's a friendly smile on an open sore. Okay. Okay, play ball. Lucky you! You've won a free cruise on S&M Cruise Lines! If one of the planned activities is water sports, what will you be doing in between free buffets? Urinating on people's heads, having sex in a hot tub, getting whipped underwater, or having sex with big dead fish? Ew. What? Didn't your mother teach you anything? S&M humiliation games what? involving such bodily functions as urination are called water sports. So I hear. I hope Frank's wife's on the cruise so I can piss on her head. Okay, wow. hit your buzzer <laughs> and try to snag the highest value you can. Alright. Jack and Jack time. I'd love to give you a clue. No, I mean, I'd really love to give you a clue. The object of my affection. Well, I might as well tell you. I mean, the cat's out of the bag. Hey, wait! The cat is out of the bag!
already done that with the other one. No. There we go. I just blew it. Okay, where's the bubble gum? Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, well, that was a lot of the positive score. That was not the score I wanted, though. See that final score! That's the story! As usual with these, you don't know Saturday, let me do another game. Alright. New game. New players. And it's gonna give us a new question. Probably the one that makes me larger. Hello, welcome to the ride. Perhaps you can find some brain enlarging pills when you get down to the pharmacy floor. Now, how many contestants are there? Hmm, no it may, maybe I'll do one more after this one because it's um, it's nice to have an opportunity to get to know yourself better. I might do one more Is after this, this one, honestly. Riding splendid. Glad you had the courage to play again. I need you to type in your name now. Okay, let's see if I can get it done this time. Dang it! Mmm, tasty. All right, I will get like the buzzing, name and I want the to. B. And I'll get the name and I it's want to. the best part of the ride. Remember, you're always getting closer to oh, the come. bottom. Oh, come on. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture arise. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride, is brought to you by Mother's Little Helper. Keeps you sedate <laughs> from morning till late. And don't forget Daddy's Little Helper. Tell the kids Mommy and I are just wrestling. And now here's your host, the one, the only, Cookie. Hey there, welcome to the game. Don't take too many of those big pills or I'll feel like Jack and the Beanstalk, okay? Now don't crush your keyboard. Sure, sure. And now <laughs> you're M. about to get the it's strongest dosage of trivia in. possible without a prescription. All right, it's I'll see what time it is. I'll decide if I can do one more after that. Here's your category. We'll see. I'd like to make a pharmaceutical withdrawal. Here we go. At what bank would you most likely make a suppository deposit? Federal Savings and Topical Cream, First Bank of the Painful Injection, National Bank of the Anus, or Credit Union of the Mouth? Um. <laughs> you should have picked this. It melts in your ass, not in your hands. And don't forget there's a penalty for early withdrawal. Select the highest value and see if you hit the jack. This one's called... Now I really need a new drug. Guess the magic number here is 3565. Could be your lucky number. Let's find out. Which of these statements about Advil is false? Advil is aspirin-free, Advil is kosher, Advil contains sodium but is salt-free, or Advil contains beef byproducts. Oh yes, my vegan and vegetarian friends of the world, you've been consuming meat byproducts all these years. <laughs> Does your head hurt? Advil ain't kosher. So for those of you planning to serve up a big bowl for the next Jewish holiday, maybe you should order out. All right, bang your buzzer and grab the highest value. Right, that's all right. Okay, here's your category. I'm sorry, they keep giving me these I'm lower too numbers. Cheap and to, to go you, to the okay? drugstore. 
You know, nowadays condoms are a real necessity, but damn, they can be expensive. If you decide to save a few bucks and make your own condoms out of natural latex, what will you need to ask of your pharmacist? May I have a bag of coal chunks, please? May I have some milky tree juice, please? May I have some lambskin, please? Or may I have a can of gasoline, please? Yeah. Gee, I hope this works. Here goes. No! <laughs> Watch and learn. Latex is a naturally occurring milky juice that comes out of plants and trees. If you buy them dinner first. Okay. All right, I might, I might, I might end it after this one, honestly. I'm Dilly Winkle Doodle Snorfin. Oh, and let me guess, this is another gibberish uh, question. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a feeling it was going to be one of these. Two of them in a row. That's not good. Now then, here's what your real category looks like. Daddy's secret wardrobe. Remember, the sooner you buzz in, the more money you can make. All right, tell me what phrase this rhymes with. Hey, pause lousy dress. And ignore the punctuation. First clue, it's often on a warning label. It's often on a warning label on a bottle of medication. Don't operate heavy machinery. No. Last clue. The medicine might make you sleepy. Make your move. Type your in. Oh, yeah, I think I typed that wrong. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I want to make sure I got it right because I might not get yeah, the money if I didn't. Yeah, I'm taking says that on the box, but so far it's had no effect. Wait, hold on. Hit your buzzer to select the value you want. You know, why don't, why don't you just punch yourself in the face for good measure? Well, anyway, here's your category. Trying, trying to get some no iron parents, numbers. And I'm short. Because I need to get Here's out of the, the pool question. that I'm in. Which of the following would you expect to see in a sitcom's very special episode about orphan drugs? Arnold Jackson becoming a giant Webster on a spiritual journey, Punky Brewster being cured of a rare disease, or Buffy, Jody, and Sissy getting over colds? I have no idea. No, but I've seen this episode. The part where Mr. French administers the vapo rub is especially touching. <laughs> Here's the one you wanted. Drugs that can cure rare diseases are known as orphan drugs because they're unprofitable for pharmaceutical companies to develop. Just like it's unprofitable for child actors to develop during a sitcom's run. Okay, buzz in and lock on to the highest value you Your category is... I like my drugs in a hurry. Okay, imagine this. It's a nice spring day, and you're doing a cool 75 on the freeway with your top down. Well, I mean, your car's top down. When the cops pull you over and discover eight pounds of illegal codeine in your back seat, what sound can you make to convince them you have a legitimate reason for having it? Is it sound one, sound two, sound three, or sound four? Once again, that's sound one, sound two, sound three, or sound four. Codeine is a cough suppressant. Yep, that's the and only sure one that would make sense. For that open 40 ounce of malt that's the only the one that would make sense. <laughs> hey, buzz that's in fact right the there. Hey, you can live on that. Here's your category. Nice, nice and high. You need drugs to live in South Dakota. Hey, how about digging yourself out of the hole on this one? If you consume the complimentary elixir that made South Dakota's wall drug famous, from what are you most likely suffering? Dehydration, depression, low blood sugar, or bad attitude? Depression. <sighs> no. In case hey, I just you're wondering, you the tiny husband and wife pharmacy in Wall, South Dakota, started putting signs on the highway advertising free ice water, and the rest is American and marketing history. I tried something okay, similar sure growing is. up, but people in my neighborhood just got annoyed when I sprayed them with the hose. Okay. Hit your buzzer to choose the value of the next question. Excuse me, I think you just stepped in roadkill. Okay, you gotta remember the stuff. 
We just got the Alrighty, same thing with SWAT. The on the item that <laughs> the last one. The on the screen. And also, there's some bonus money up for grabs at the end. Can you say Grease Lightning? Just checking. Here we go. Here we go. Sweater buzz ball and female contraceptive. What do these two things have in common? Looking for polyester. I think. Hell! One sixth of an ounce and used to stir lift it. Teaspoon. So you got pill and teaspoon. That doesn't make any sense. Pill and teaspoon. I've got no idea yet right now. Discontinue. Drops. Bill D. Teaspoon drops. Basic, dang it. Or generic. Basic or generic? Generic. Here we got pale teaspoon, generic something. I have no idea right now. Eight. Ten commandments medium and no bad. Tablet, okay. To deceptively alter and the D in PhD. Check. No, no. God. Doctor, okay. This might be medical turns or something. Right, let's go for the bonus. I'm gonna try that. What do all the correct answers have in common? <laughs> Are they all biblical terminology? No, I don't think so. Spoon shapes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I somehow got it. score. Now let's get back to the game. No relation whatsoever. Right, there it is. Let's keep moving. <laughs> okay, hit your buzzer and try to snag the highest value you can. Uh, where, where's the highest? We're calling this one. Our X's and O's. Hey, I don't want to say anything, but I will. Y you got to get out of the hole here, all right? If the Dallas Cowboys changed their name to the Drugstore Cowboys, what should fans expect to see? Quarterbacks busting shoplifters, linebackers doing lasso demonstrations, running backs robbing pharmacies, or defensive backs acting like rodeo clowns. He's at aisle 15, aisle 10, aisle 5. He's only got the security guard left. And he's through the doorway. It's a burglary. In the movie Drugstore Cowboy, Matt Dillon and his rowdy friends rob drugstore after drugstore. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, select the value of the question. Spank your coming up. Yeah, these are low right now. What to take if you're depressed about your wart? So, have you heard of the over-the-counter herbal remedy, St. John's Wart? Well, if your local pharmacy runs out of St. John's Wart, and you decide instead to swallow an actual wart from St. John's Finger, whose wart will you have to track down? Pope John the First's, John the Baptist's, John King of England's, um, or I'm John gonna let the tire run on this one, because I've got no idea who any of these guys are. Here's what you should have picked. St. John's Wart is named after St. John the Baptist because it blooms on his birthday, June 24th. Isn't he lucky? Well, it's better than having a boil pop up on your ass every time it's your birthday. All right, it's time to choose the value of the question. Let's do it. I like to call this category... Dang, I thought I was getting a 4,000 more right there. Scabs Unite for World Peace. Hey, remember back in the mid-80s when those all-star rockers got together and formed that group Band-Aid to end world hunger? Well, 
If the stage had collapsed during the recording of Band-Aid's Do They Know It's Christmas, which of the following artists would not be affixing a Band-Aid to his skin knee? Boy George, Bruce Springsteen, Phil Collins, or Again, Sting? Again, I don't know what this band is, so I am just going to let the time run out again. I'm already, like, 8,000 in depth, and I don't want to be even more in depth at this well, point. Well, what do we have here? The boss wasn't in Band-Aid, he was in USA for Africa. But his knees are probably all skinned up anyway, you know, from all that dancing in the dark. Now select the highest value and see if you hit the jackpot. Okay, give it up for... Take this question and call me in the morning. So I go to my doctor's office the other day complaining about chest pains. He sticks a finger up my butt and gives me this prescription. Take a close look. One tablet Loestrin BID, two Prozac with milk TID, 20 Viagra in D, three Wigrain QID. Which of these will I be taking the most often? Viagra, Wigrain, Prozac, or Loestrin? When you get a prescription, QID means four times a day. Oh, and by the way, Wigrain is for migraine headaches. It comes in a suppository. Yes, I really do have my head up my ass. Okay, attack attack right, time. Your buzzer and grab the highest. Here we go. Take two clues and call me in the morning. Well, on second thought, you only get one, so pay attention. Medicine, man. Here, have a teaspoon. It's uh, cherry flavored. There you go. Hope you feel better. Oh, are these types of. Oh. Again, I don't know what any of these are. I'm only, like... I'm only in, um, familiar with, like, I do Profen, Advil, Aleve, so... I don't know what any of these are. I'm just gonna just... <laughs> talk with you guys doing this. I'm sorry if I'm just... I, <laughs> yeah... Let me know what any of these are, honestly. This Claritin. This one I might be familiar with a little, but again, I don't know what it does. Now yeah, we're blooped again. Okay. Yeah. So the next time I play this, it will be during the birthday bash. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, when we get closer to... Um, what it's gonna be. I'm gonna tell you guys what uh, the birthday bash is gonna be. So I look, uh, look forward to seeing what it does. <coughs> in a, uh, what a what a relief it is. Uh, yeah, just uh, uh, just you're, a couple weeks in, I'll tell you guys what it is. But for now, that's only what you're gonna know. Guys, that's gonna be it for this edition of <laughs> Saturdays. Uh
<laughs> I'll see you guys then. Take care.